back everybody. So today we're going to try another one from New Belgium Brewing, Captain Dynamite IPA. 7.7% ABV. Um, it's, I'm guessing, well, duh, it's on the side. This is another one in the Voodoo Ranger series. This is the first time I've saw it. Um, on the date it says uh, June 13th, 2021. Um, today's the 19th, so I don't know if this is that fresh or if it's six days out of date. Um, per untapped, it does not say it's no longer in production. Um, they are calling this an American IPA, 45 IBUs. There are a whole bunch of check-ins for it. Um, and this, like the one is in February. So this could be six days out of date. I did pick this up at uh, Megabev. But yeah, cool can art. Um, it does not say what hops are used. We'll check that after we try it. So let's go ahead and get this open, get it into a glass. I want to say this was $2.49 is what I paid for it. But yeah, it doesn't say Best Buy, you know, Made On or anything like that. So... I can't remember how New Belgium does there, so if you know, leave a comment down below. Off-white colored head, pretty much all small bubbles. I do have a couple medium on the sides that are popping. From that pour, a finger of head bubbles on the side are like dish soap. They are small. Lots and lots and lots of yeast floating around in there. Yellow, orangish in color. Very, very cloudy from all that yeast. Now... From all that yeast being there, I would say this is six days out of date. I'm guessing, but I do not know. Let's go ahead and smell, see what we get. It smells like a, a little spice, a little like sweeter citrus in there. Not a big smell at all. Maybe a touch of tropical, but yeah, almost like a Chinook spice with some sweeter citrus is what I'm getting up front. Then maybe a hint of tropical um, in there. So let's go ahead and taste. Very smooth, medium bodied beer more on the floral like citrus floral side with some spice in the back like at the at the end of the palate but then after your mouth warms up more of a floral taste seems like it's a weird voodoo ranger compared to all the other ones that I've had. Yeah, it seems like that floral hangs around, um, no alcohol, <coughs> seven, I said 7.7, .7, right? Yeah, 7.7, .7, so in my opinion, this is a double. And I, I do get, as the palate warms up, more of a sweet malt, like very light syrup in there. I want to see if they call this a double. Nope, American. Um, yeah, you, you get like a Chinook spice with some citrus in there. Um, a, a little earthiness, floral uh, going on. Then as it gets to the very back of the palate, a little sweet malt, like light syrup. Um, as it goes down, that that floral really comes out. At least for me on this one, I don't like floral. I don't like earthiness. So I would have to go with a 3.5. Now I'm getting like a passion fruit. 
le less floral earthiness, but passion fruit in there. Yeah, they don't say anything. I think I would have to change a lot of that floral earthiness to a passion fruit now. I don't know if it's because the bubbles have settled down, the carbonation. Yeah. Yeah, le less floral, almost no floral, like a sweeter passion fruit. I almost want to say like a galaxy hop was used. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting like a very light, sweet malt in there. But for 7.7%, .7%, I think you would. Yeah. Yeah, definitely more passion fruit on that fruit side. I'm still getting some citrus up front though, but no floral earthiness at all. So that's weird. Um, 3.75 out of 5. Let's check on tap, see what they're saying. <clears throat> Nine of my friends have checked it in 3.81. Uh, 25,000 people have checked it in 3.75. So I'm right in line with them. Let's see what this says. Bold tropical fruit flavors. Mosaic, Simcoe, and Cascade. Pineapple and guava. Okay. So I said passion fruit. I don't really get the tartness from the guava, though. Hmm. Yeah, I get more passion fruit. I really don't get any pineapple. I get citrus. The citrus must be from the Cascade, I'm guessing. Let's see what other people have said. Nothing really there. I like how this flavor was voted on last fall and they finally released this this month. <coughs> when was that? February. So yeah, I'm guessing this can is six days out of date. I don't know. I didn't know anything about this um, from what Joe is saying that this was New Belgium had a post or something to vote on flavors. I'm guessing that's what this is. Yeah, I didn't see anything like that. Piney notes. I don't get any piney notes. But, yeah, I, I would pick it up and try it if you can find it. Um, if the date says what it does on mine, that June 13th, I would probably pass. Because, yeah, again, I think unless they just made another batch of this, which they could have... Um, I, I would say it's old. Um, yeah, there's January 11th. Let's see the last time. Um, May 14th is the last time one of my friends has checked it in. If you want to be friends on Untapped, see the description down below. But yeah, I don't think it's bad. I would drink it again. Would I buy it? No, there's other... Um, uh, Voodoo Ranger beers that I would pick up over this. Like the... What is it? The... Uh, is it 1786 or 18 something like that? Then the Y2K that I just had, I would drink over this one. Um, check out some more videos over here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, happy brewing.